Okay, so this is an introduction to uh, modding in MovieStorm. The most basic sort of modding here is just adding images. So we click on New Movie, go to a MovieStorm template, and start with an empty set. Okay, just adjust our workspace. We're now going to uh, select the Walls tool, create three walls to make a simple room. So there we go, we now have three walls. Okay, if we just deselect the walls tool, readjust our workspace and zoom into the area that we're going to be working with. Okay, from the Props browser here, we're going to select a uh, picture that we're going to work with. Uh, we'll just move in so that we can see the picture larger in frame. And we'll just make the picture light slightly bigger as well. Okay, so firstly we can see all the variations that we've got. So you can choose from these if you want to use one of these in your set. But if you wanted to use your own image, you can just uh, click on the image here and change image. This brings up an image browser where you can browse any of the images on your PC. Okay, so got a selection of images here. And you can see by clicking on one of the images, it goes directly onto the picture. So, once you have an image that you like, you might want to adjust its width. So we can stretch it in this fashion. And we can also zoom out to get the image central in the picture there. Reset button will set it back to the uh, defaults. So you can see very quickly that you can apply your own images to uh, props in the set workshop view. Okay, in a similar way, uh, we can apply images to characters. So if we go into the dressing room view here, and we're going to use a female character to uh, apply an image to. So we just select female, and then we're going to choose this t-shirt and combats costume here. Now you can see that she's got some text on her front there. Click here to add your own image. So we click on there, change image, and it brings up our image browser again. So we can now select a, a picture of the family, for example. And in a similar way, we can zoom in on the image, move it around, and turn the character around like so. Click on the image on the back. And we can change that image too. So again, we'll choose a suitable image. Like so. And then just adjust it so that it's in the correct position. Okay, if we just uh, close the image browser here, and we'll go into the director's view, and there you can see that we have our original painting with our own user image on it, and if I place the character on set, and zoom into her, you can see that she's got her image on the t-shirt. Okay. There's one final place that you can add images to your movie, and that's if we go to the cutting room view. And you can see we've got our movie footage here, which we can uh, add to the timeline like so. If we go along to the images tab, we've got a bin where we can import our own images. So, firstly, we, if we create a blank image here, you can see that we can create an image with any color background and by choosing the load image button we can then add images to our bin like so and we can build up a selection of images these can then be dragged to the timeline at whatever point you would like them and you can resize them like so 
So now, if we imagine that this was our movie, we're cutting between a camera shot and an image that we've just imported, and we can put another image on the end. And you can see by scrubbing through, we change from one image to the other. OK, so we can delete that image and clear the timeline like so. And that's a basic introduction of um, how we get images into MovieStorm.